Hello and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. So I created this character jump animation in my animation practice session and in this video I want to show you guys how to animate a jump using the techniques I followed in this process. Initially I made a rough animation with the stick figure and the main objective here was to get the timing right and properly implement the key forces of a jump animation. Now once I am satisfied with the timing and the overall animation, I proceeded with the illustration process. So this is the illustration I created for this project and the next step is the layer separation process where we prepare the illustration for animation in After Effects. The layer separation process over here is pretty simple. I have separated the head in a separate layer, the neck in a separate layer, the body in a separate layer and all the limbs and the joints overlaps are in a separate layer. So that when I import it in After Effects, we get all the body parts in a separate layer in After Effects. A jump animation consists of a total of 7 key poses. It starts with a neutral pose, then the character anticipates for the jump. So this is called the anticipation. Then the character pushes the ground to take off. This is called the push pose. So this is a very important key pose which you need to add in your jump animation. If you don't add this key pose in your jump animation, then your animation may look a bit floaty. Now, sometimes you may want that fill in your animation, but in most of the cases, you want a proper impact with the ground. So for that, this key pose is very important. Now, the next one is the mid-air key pose. So here, for a fraction of seconds, the character stays in the air, and then there is a contact pose, where the character touches the ground after the takeoff, for the first time. This is again another important key pose after the push pose, which if you don't add in your animation, may make your animation look a bit floaty. And then there is a recovery pose and then a neutral pose. So these are the most important key poses that you need to add in your jump animation. Okay, so we're in After Effects and we're going to use our Dwig Basil plugin to rig the character. To rig the arms, we're going to use the hand structure layers. And then to rig the legs, we are going to use the leg structure layers. So to distort the body of this character, we are going to add some pins and then we are going to convert the pins into the bone layers. Using the Twig Bezier plugin where you can get the option of converting the pins into bone layers. So we are also going to distort the foot a bit so for that we are also going to add some pins on the foot and add the bone layers. Once the hands and the legs are rigged, I have parented the head with the neck layer, then the neck with the bone layer of the body which is attached with the neck. And after that I have parented the structure layers with the bone layer and the thigh structure layers with the bone layer. Once the whole character body is rigged, I have proceeded with the animation process. So in this process I have taken reference from the initial rough animation that I have created with the stick figure. And later on I have made some improvement in the key poses to make the key poses look even better with this character. Once all the key poses are added in your animation, the next step is to make sure that the motion path is looking curved and it's smooth so that the motion looks smooth for the hands and the legs. Okay, so finally, if you are facing this kind of an issue, then you can simply animate the thigh structure layers properly, reposition the thigh structure layers and as well as you can also animate the shape path property of the body layer and you can fix this issue. So like this, you can animate a jump in After Effects using the Dwig Bezier plugin. I hope you learned something valuable out of it, which you can use in your future motion design projects. So that is it for this video. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I'd be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified 
for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.